urbanization and climate change represent major challenges for cities around the world. Smart city solutions hold the power to improve sustainability, livability and efficiency by collecting and analyzing data from the physical environment and citizens. Denmark's trailblazing cities are at the forefront of this transformative change. Denmark is really on the forefront in understanding where they want to be in the future. The city of Copenhagen in particular is increasingly well recognized as a highly innovative place. Just over half of the world's population now live in cities, a figure that is expected to increase to two-thirds by 2050. Almost 180,000 people are added to the urban population each day, increasing the risk of congestion and intensifying the pressure on resources and the environment. The world cities face major smart cities developments in the coming decades. If we're trying to understand what kind of the smart city development we have in front of us, this is really the question. Do we want to have it under control or is it then, are we too slow? Each city thinks it's individual, but of course the problems and the challenges they are facing, they are very similar. The similar challenges for each city call for smart city solutions to ensure that cities are sustainable, efficient and citizen-centered. It's a new market and its size is increasing year by year. In terms of the size of the smart cities market, uh, we did a study that valued that market um, by 2020 as $400 billion annually. I think the point is it's a big number. So it is a massive opportunity. The market for smart city solutions in Denmark is expected to grow rapidly in the near future. 50% of Danish municipalities are already working with smart city activities. 80% of these municipalities expect to increase the activities within the next two years. Danish municipalities will increasingly look for international input to solutions to further develop smarter cities. Denmark is globally well known for its uh, green agenda and not just having a green agenda but the ability to deliver on it and that green agenda is a fantastic starting point to start you know as a city what can we do what can we do smarter if we want to be green how do we become smart and green this is what is catching the attention in the world as to in terms of what copenhagen is doing copenhagen is aiming to become the world's first carbon neutral city by 2025 at which time the city expects to have 20 percent more inhabitants than today it has already emerged as an incubator for smart city startups, and nearly 250 companies are involved in smart city activities. The city of Copenhagen has started to establish a digital infrastructure covering the whole city, and the aim is to be leading in green growth using big data and technological solutions by 2020. I think Denmark has a strong position in terms of the developing smart cities market. So the whole idea of collaboration, which is so important in actually delivering smart cities, is something that Danish people are very good at. The Danish smart cities market is built on strategic partner collaborations and networks involving cities, municipalities, regions and government but also R&D cooperation with universities, research centers, and access to clusters and highly skilled personnel. This is the next step, of course, to understand how to bring together these different solutions and also, of course, competences of companies or startups and form larger networks, ecosystems, if you like, though, and this one, I think, is very useful then on the global market. Cisco decided to work with Greater Copenhagen and its leaders because the ability of academia, public and private leaders to actually collaborate on the efforts that we need to see happen. Dahl, Danish outdoor lighting lab, is a great example of how such collaborations can work in a real life-size test bed. Dahl is a giant outdoor showroom for the latest designs in city street lighting and is part of the existing municipality of Albertslund. 
It's an extensive real-life street lighting network and testing facility, serving as a key infrastructural element for the smart cities of tomorrow. It's already bringing together so many big companies, so many big players from the light industry, the network industry, including Cisco. This is a fantastic place. Dole focuses on smart city solutions capable of addressing the challenges presented by rapid urbanization around the globe. One of its goals is to help officials, companies and researchers from across Europe and beyond see the light. Over 60 foreign delegations visited Dahl over the past 11 months since its launch. That's huge. CNN, New York Times have all covered it. And it's a real lab, a real outdoor lab. And Denmark is quite unique in the way this is being approached. What I like about Dahl is that it's actually a practical example where it's happening on the ground. And it provides you with a suddenly golden gateway to a lot of partners that you would otherwise not be talking to. I like the example so much because I want, to, I want people to pay attention. That's where people come together. It's, it's absolutely best practice.